How to remove images from Google search. In this video session, we're going to explore the options available to you in terms of removing images from Google search. In this screen right now, I've just searched google.com.au. Realize that Google is a global search engine. That means google.com.au is a search engine perhaps for Australia, so to speak. But nonetheless, Google search works global. So that means it will show me results coming from all parts of the world. But this is a typical web search. That means right now, for this search term, Google is showing all the results that it has for that keyword. Let's go and conduct the same search using Google Image Search Engine because Google also is an image search engine. Now, ranking, as in what shows up here, as in the way Google calculates what shows up here, is different to Google Image Search. Now, what if you want to remove an image that you see in Google Image Search results here? Then you have many, many, many different options depending on the image that you want to remove. It could be the case because, unfortunately, there are some highly silly people who trick young people to perhaps take nude photos and then they post them online and even go to an extreme to blackmail those individuals. Well, if that's the case, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, there is an image that is shown in Google, it's related to you, and you don't want that image to be seen. Perhaps your parents don't know about this image, right? Then don't worry, because Google is a great business in terms of how it treats the law, so to speak. So Google is a business that obeys the law. Therefore, gives you options in terms of saying to you, you know what? If the image is on external site, if the image is related to revenge porn, because that's absolutely real in 2018, if that's the case, simply follow the procedures here and take things from there, because Google will remove that image. Now, what if it's just a typical image of you being hosted on an external site because a valued client a couple of years back uh, when they were young they were modeling and they had a profile on some external site they're trying to get the image removed the website owner is declining all her requests crazy right but how do you remove that image now you have options like this let's imagine this scenario because that's what Google wants you to do. Let's imagine this is my website and there is an image that I posted and that image is related to you. Now, Google wants you to contact me to get that image removed. Why? Because if this image is here and it doesn't, you know, as in it's not against Google guidelines, that means I have all the rights to publish that image on my site. Google wants you to contact the website owner to get them removed and get the image removed by them. Because if I don't remove this image, then Google search engine will re-crawl this site and then show the image once again if it's available on my site. So therefore, you need to follow the insights that I've posted on this blog post because I'm not going to cover all these in depth in terms of you can because you have legal rights if that image is causing you issues it's causing you emotional stress so therefore it's defamatory to a degree if the image is image and the content around it is you know, misleading or wrong information or abusive and so on, 
then surely contact the website owner saying to them you know what what they're doing is actually against the law because the fact is it actually is when that image is not appropriate and if that image is posted without your permission okay so keep that in mind always when removing images from Google search whether it's a web search whether it's an image search it's basically the same to a degree as long as that image is on external site Google will show it for search terms related to that image what else can you do you can actually create your own profiles and then name the images let's imagine you want to remove an image when someone searches your name John Smith image shows up or you can create many many perhaps 10 20 different images and name them in such way that Google better understands that image being John Smith and then it's going to show it prominently on its result set instead of seeing it in the first position you'll see that unwanted image buried down the page itself and you do that through you know, uploading images to social profiles whether it's Google Plus whether it's about me profile your own websites and so on so you can dilute the search results that's not going to remove your images but it's going to outrank the unwanted image surely that's the last resort that you want to follow okay nonetheless visit this help section of Google search because depending on the circumstance you have plenty different options but once again if the image is on external site visit my blog because I have different information in terms of options available to you okay more detail so I'm going to keep this video session rather brief but to tell you not to lose hope in terms of removing images that you believe it shouldn't be there because at the end of the day if that image is related to your your business and without your permission someone has placed that on external site then you have grounds it's by law you can and should be able to get that image removed from Google okay I thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and keep in mind you can always visit rank your blog to post your comments here as well related to removing content from Google and I'll talk with you in the next video session